House of the Dragon in a month, month and a half, March. Are y'all excited? Is that the Lord of the Rings? No, one? motherfucker, the it's the Game of Thrones. Uh, I, I am not excited. There's so much, there's so many reboots coming it's out. It's not a I'm reboot. Excited. It's number one, a prequel. Oh, those those never turn out bad. Number two, it's based specifically off of George R. R. Martin's writing, who is the greatest author ever, ever. And I know you guys don't yeah. agree. Yeah. Yeah. You don't agree. You don't agree. That's because you don't know. You haven't walked the paths that I've walked. Speaking of Martin, though, I've read nearly the entire Wildcard series. I don't want to dump on him. I think he's a very good author. But in the end, he's a second-rate Frank Herbert. I mean, hey, Rob, he's just Rob, Rob, no- Rob. He he's the like the moderator for the wild card stories. He's not really the writer. It's an anthology. I know, yeah, but it's like his thing. It is his thing, and you know I do have to work up a certain amount of enthusiasm for. Oh, speaking of, you know what I have on my list? Wild cards. They're making a pilot. They're making a show. I've heard this. I've heard this. This is I've heard a couple of years ago. Yeah, it's kind of. I don't, I don't want to say it's in development hell. I think it's gotten beyond development hell, but it's it's a thing. Okay, so Mike, 19 like 40s, this alien ship flies over New York City and it's crashing and and this guy named Jet Boy who's like this World War 1 kind of Captain America figure but he doesn't have superpowers sh- crashes and it sprays this shit all over the city. And it's called the wild card virus. That's what it imparts on people. And so like 99% of people that get hit with it die. And then like 0.9% of those people who get hit with it become these horrible mutated people that they call jokers. And then 0.1 or 0.01, I'm bad at math, I don't know, become aces. And that's that they have superpowers. And they have kids that have superpowers. It's a cool concept and they have cool characters. Who's, who's your favorite character of the aces? Carnifex. Okay, okay, I could see that. Here's the thing about Carnifex is they took him from being kind of a douchebag, not really that strong or that powerful, but then they made him a main character in like three or four books in a row where he was like, he he was the main protagonist and you got to see him develop and he never was that powerful. He was never that strong, but they made him a main character and it was kind of cool. Okay, okay. Why? Who's yours? I would say my favorite character, just who has the best story, is going to be Golden Boy. Mm, I like Golden Boy. Because just, you know, he's got his whole thing where he's trying to live down his reputation as being the guy who turned on the whole community and all that. And he's really not that bad a guy, but, you know. He caught so much shit for being yeah. like a traitor or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I, I, I just love anything to do with Golden Boy. The Golden Boy treatment, what they did for Golden Boy in a few successive novels. I don't know if you've read far enough, but then they did to Carnifex and it was ah, fucking cool. I, I've gotten about 12 in. I'm familiar with Carnifex. I know who that is. I yeah, because him and Golden Boy were always kind of going head to head, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But Carnifex couldn't do shit to Golden Boy because Golden Boy was a fuck ton stronger and was basically invulnerable. Uh, good power he is unless you throw him off a roof or something. That's... <laughs> does he get? Does he have the internal organ damage like uh, like Luke Cage does? Yes, or something? they determined that. That was about the only thing that could possibly kill Golden Boy was a fall from a great height because he still experiences even inside of his golden shell there still experiences acceleration forces. Well, he was like Luke Cage. Luke Cage could get taken out by a shotgun because his power was invulnerable skin, but his brains and shit were all normal. So he got shotgunned in Jessica Jones. Yeah, but Rob, keep reading. I know sometimes you got to like work up some enthusiasm, maybe give it like six months in between reading a book because it's not the most riveting, compelling shit in the world. But when you do read the next next few wild cards and they start getting into Carnifex, you'll like it. He becomes a main character. It's kind of cool. I will. And I cert- it's not it's not so much a fatigue thing because I, I really enjoy reading them. What my problem is with them is uh, that they're written by George R. R. Martin, who is currently popular. So the next book in the series is like forty dollars used and otherwise out of print. Dude, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to do pay forty bucks for this fucking thing. I'm pretty sure you can just like find it on the internet, man. It's Rob's really all about the hard copy. I like books. I want to read a book. You're constantly outlining the reasons why books suck, is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but they're not. They don't override the fact that books are great because you get to hold them. I hold my Kindle. My Kindle fits in my back pocket of my shorts. All right. Anyway, Rob, if you went digital, you would not be complaining about the cost of books. I have not paid for a book in the last 15 years. Oh, for God's sakes. 
I just spent like 60 bucks on books yesterday. So. Yeah, I used to do that like <laughs> 15 years ago. For the love of God. What is but I like to hold a book and read a book. I like to hold my balls and read my balls. But if it costs <laughs> – anyway, um, just just here's, here's what I'm saying. Get a, get a Kindle, a paper white. It's like maybe 60 bucks, maybe 80 bucks. It's, yeah, yeah. Don't get – better or more advanced than the paper white the paper white is what you need if you get something else you're going to end up be getting like a cut down cell phone you don't want to you, you don't want to be looking at a pad a screen you want to yeah. be looking at the original concept which is the paper white which looks like you're looking at the page and if you get the kind with the frill where it actually lights up the screen that's good because i like dumping in the dark i don't like dumping with the lights on <laughs> not a springsteen song well, i yeah. do i do dumping in the dark <laughs> that's where courtney cox was sitting on the toilet and that'll do it for today's video guys thanks for going on this journey with us let me know how you liked it in the comments section and also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel as we bring you more thoughtful and intriguing content in the future